This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Highlander. It is a 2012 Highlander Limited. That's leather uh, and loaded, loaded, loaded. It's all wheel drive and it has 4,600 miles on it. It was a theft re recovery um, purchased directly from an insurance company and it's, a, <laughs> it's an unbelievable car. Um, the only reason we own this car is they were too cheap to buy a, a set of keys for it. Um, so we had that we were able to take care of that problem <laughs> for them so we bought a set of keys for it when it got here uh, we do our two-hour inspection when it gets here and fell in love with the car almost immediately I had this thing confused I did a video original video for it I had this confused with another one that was almost its twin and I screwed that video all up because I had things back and forth anyway this is correct <laughs> whatever I say here is correct uh, anyway confusion when you have two black Highlanders anyway uh, let's see it is on a salvage title due to theft if you watch our uh, little animated video it'll explain how and why but basically it's attorneys for the insurance company don't want to uh, have any liability in the future so uh, they sell it to us on a salvage title so when we sell it to you and you go out and kill yourself in it uh, your attorneys can't sue Geico or Progressive or Allstate or whoever saying you know they basically they say the salvage title means that there's no warranty. There's no guarantee on a salvage title. And that's why they do it. It has to do with lawyers and not the car. But uh, watch that little animated video. It'll explain a little bit more to you on it. This thing is brand new. It's a beautiful car. Um, it does have warranty on it. Um, today, there's no guarantee that they won't void the warranty tomorrow. Um, uh, I believe the in-service date was... I think it was eight of 2012 uh, on the three-year 36,000 mile and it's got a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain like I said the factory can void on a uh, salvage title anytime they want um, but in our experience Toyota doesn't Toyota and Lexus don't but it doesn't mean they won't so we're not telling you that it you know you'll get it next week and a week from now you, you'll want to do some warranty work and they'll accept it. Uh, my advice to you is to take it in immediately upon getting it and get the uh, uh, service uh, uh, history established with whatever your local Toyota dealer is. And uh, once you're in the door, hopefully you'll be able to stay. But, you know, the other part about these cars is they never need anything. Nothing ever breaks. If you change the oil and air filter and maintain them, they don't break. So it really doesn't matter. Um, this is the car. I screwed up this video so bad the, last, the first time I did it. This one had a, a little dent right here that we fixed. Um, there will be before and after pictures. It's really insignificant. We almost went to the point where we just touched it up. It's like right here. But uh, there will be some before and after pictures. You'll be able to see that. Um, but uh, usually we wouldn't fix that on, on a vehicle. It was that insignificant. But we decided that this one was... Uh, uh, a little bit too special to uh, to not make perfect so we did all right let's see this guy there's your uh, it's a four-wheel drive it has a four-wheel drive badge on it but it's really all-wheel drive I think that they put those badges on there because people just don't get it anyway this is the mat that would lay out if you didn't use these guys which is the third seat you can just lay that mat right across the top of there if you're not using the third seat. Boom. So there's your third seat right there. This is a pretty car. I've had some great luck with my Acura. I got my Acura over there, and I keep having it backed into in parking lots lately. They've broken the tail light, and it's just a nightmare. But we're for such bad luck that I'm having driving my car. I would be driving this home, but I'm afraid I'm the kiss of death right now. Obviously, these are the factory tires. All right. We'll hop in here real quick. I'm going to fire this thing up. Foot on brake. Forgot to get the foot on the brake, don't you? All right. Let's see. What do we got going on here? All right, got to close the door, and there it is, 4,605 miles. 
Oh, and the air feels good because it's like 9,000 degrees in here. This, this is uh, the type of year that I really don't like in Tucson. Just uh, mid-May to end of July. No sisters or crybabies allowed in those months. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Wow, that's hot. That takes some nads just to open the hood. It's only 10 in the morning, too. Anyway, there's uh, <laughs> everything you need is right there. There's your stickers on the hood where they belong. Nice car. I cannot believe that the insurance companies are so lazy that they won't make keys. They, could have, they should have sold this car on a clear title and saved themselves a lot of money. It's retarded. You want to know why your insurance premiums are so high? It's stupid stuff like this. It really is. It's just retarded. This thing lays forward. This center seat lays forward. Got controls back here, rear air, you can adjust the temperature also. Got the little seat directions back there on how to work all the seats. Make that thing fall. Does that thing come out? No. Yeah, it's gotta come out somehow. We got cup holders. This is a neat car. Window. Window. Passenger seats on Toyotas only go back and forth. They don't go up and down. So there's back and forth. Obviously the seats look brand new because they are. Got a bunch of manuals in here. All the manuals are warranty stuff. See, if I wasn't so stupid with my luck right now, this would be at my house for the last week or two while it's for sale. You don't want me anywhere near your car right now. It's unbelievable. Anything I touch gets hit. So, this thing gets parked in the garage at night because it's just a little too nice a car to risk being around me. Driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window. Let's see. Ah, this seat does go up and down. Driver seats will. Forward, back, up, down. Rear seat up, rear seat down. Seat back, forward, and back. Even got the new car smell going on here. We got lumbar, I don't know if you can see that, but that's out. I can see it moving. And in. Let's see, what we got here? I don't even know what that is. Oh, this little guy moves. Very front edge of the seat moves up and down. That's cool. Oh, I got a little change box here. All right. Get in here and get my seat belt on. Alrighty then, let's see. We got mirrors. Out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, down, and up. I'm gonna turn on the air, turn down the fan on the air. Where's the fan on the air up and down? Let's see what else we got. We got temperature. That's the temperature on the passenger side. Temperature on the Okay, and then we got temperature on the steering wheel. You can adjust that. Let's see, what else we got? Cruise control on and off. Obviously, we have Bluetooth, radio. There's your radio. So you got navigation, you also have heated seats. Go 
like this. That obviously I don't need any heated seats because it's 5,000 degrees. You also have a snow setting here, snow on and off, and this is a incline button on and off. Let's see, roof. Here's your moonroof. Well, that thing's quiet too. That'd be a brand new moonroof right there. It's not snapping and popping. Let's see if it tilts up. There's up, put it back there. And there's down. All right, this is a hell of a car. All right, let's go for a ride. Uh, sorry, I screwed up that first video. That was pretty lame. Um, let's see, all wheel drive and we did fix a very minor ding on the passenger rear door. I pointed out exactly where it was. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you can't drive it home on a salvage title, which it has now. You have to get it restored, uh, which means we have to get a level three inspection done by the police here. Uh, we charge $200 to do that for you. Uh, if you're gonna drive it home, absolutely mandatory. Uh, it's about four hours of our time at, at a minimum, up to 10 hours, depending on how busy the cops are doing real cop stuff. Um, so it's $200 to restore the title. It's a $250 dock fee and it's tax. Tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is, uh, say it's 3% and you come here, you're gonna pay a total of 5% tax, $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. Um, if your state tax rate is 6%, you're gonna pay 8% tax, $250 and $200 to restore the, uh, the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're required to pay is the agreed upon price, but I strongly urge you to add $200 and have us restore the title before it gets on the shipping truck. Um, once it's there, it's there. And uh, if you're sure you can do it yourself, that's fine. All you're gonna get from us is the Arizona salvage title notarized and signed off to you, uh, the bill of sale, and the truck itself. The truck, actually the Highlander in this case. Um, and that's it. So just make sure if you decline to have us restored that you can do it. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we get a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the vehicle at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Um, this is a nice car. I mean, this road right here that I'm on, Runway Drive, is like, it's like a Boliv maybe probably one of the worst roads in Bolivia is what I, I mean, it's four wheeling. And it's, we don't have a rattle, we don't have, we don't even have a bad ride. It's comfortable. You could put grandma in this thing with a bad back down this crappy road and she'd be fine. Uh, nice, nice car. This is really nice. So, um, this is a zero fear type of car. Um, just make sure that uh, you watch our ad and you pay attention to it. Uh, I will give you the little speech here about warranty. Even though it does have warranty on it today, assume it won't when you get it. I don't want to mislead anybody. Uh, you're welcome to call your local dealer with the VIN, which I would encourage you to do, and ask them what the VIN, so what the warranty status is uh, before you even make an offer. That'd be a really good idea. Um, just so you know, and they're going to tell you it's good, and I'm going to tell you that at any time it can go bad. Okay? Uh, there's nothing. There's no upside in us deceiving people other than this car. This car will sell itself. It'll find the right person with cash. Some people can get financing. USAA people, military people can get financing. Wells Fargo's been helping with financing. Um, if you have decent credit, put some money down. Boy, this car is smooth. Mm, no hints. <laughs> nice, nice. That'd be 45. Yeah, I'm doing 75. So I'm going to try not to get a ticket, but I do want to drive it at some highway speeds. Anyway, assuming, I'm going to assume the worst that the day you get it, it doesn't have warranty, um, which means that I have to get my normal speech, which is there's risk involved in buying a car without warranty. Okay? And if something breaks, you got to get it fixed. It's a Toyota. <laughs> All right. If you change the oil and the air filter, it's not going to break. If you don't crash it into a wall, it's not going to break. All right. Um, that's my speech on that. Uh, but if you don't like any risk at all, buy a brand new one. All right. Thank you for your time.